Good afternoon, this is Becky Long, and I want to welcome you back to part two of my um, swap with Ver Veronica, which is buzzing with B. We do a Maggie Home swap every summer, and this year we agreed to do a garden party. Maggie Home, a swap using Maggie Home's garden party. So, um, y'all saw what I've made so far. So, this is my next project which is a saw machine and this was inspired by okay let me see if i can get it right christine and crafty crafty adventures she showed us how to do this without any dies or machines and so i followed her tutorial and it looks complicated it's not once you do your template you're you're good to go so what i did is i uh, did my template i cut everything out as my base with the 110 cardstock i came back with the designer paper and then um i got that adhered i sewed my tool on so i could put some um sequins in make it a shaker and then um i just start decorating but i first thing i did is i made a cluster of flowers and these are from hobby lobby and i love using these flowers they just give you know so much i'm not a flower maker so when i find something that i think is really pretty and goes with something i like to use that um my hat's off to you flower makers because i'm just not one <laughs> there's two things i can cannot do and that's make flowers and cards it's just not in my dna i guess but anyway let's get back to our, our sewing machine i wanted to make this realistic and uh so i added the let's see let's see if you can see it I added the spool and I put some gold thread on it. I added a, a eyelet, like you know, you thread your th thread through. I used a toothpick as my needle. I added a pair of scissors on the base here, like she, you know, somebody just got up from their sewing machine, left their scissors there. I used a piece of foil for the template and added some little bling. And then um, I could not figure out what to use on the side to make it. I'm thinking about putting a rosette, but I have not made up my mind. You know, to make your wheel, but um, I didn't, so far, haven't done anything for doing that. With this, you have plenty of places for goodies. I mean, plenty. But first of all, I did add some tool around here that was from my stash. And now to get to all the, the places for goodies. Remember the little spool? We pop that open. And then we can pull out the goodies. I'm just going to pull them out and then I'll show them to you. Okay put the machine right there so you can see it I, I made some little banners and I used a die and cut this out added a fishtail that I sewed added the little swan I put uh, some of the Hobby Lobby gold trim behind her and she's got a little bow on her the swan and the fox and the rabbit are my three three favorites in this collection so you'll probably see a lot of them and added the little uh, chipboard flower that I've added some little um, bling in the middle I think it's um, the gold stickles I put on it Added, cut my straw and added pom-poms so that's my first one the second one is I used a flower and then 
the the base of it is the same. It's you know the the tag that I cut out, then the the um, fish tail, and I like I said I did sew around the fish tail and around the straps up here, and then um, I, the bumblebee I added some um, diamond dots on its wings. A little flower has some bling in the middle. XOXO with some, um, again, these these things that I don't know what they're called, but I like working with them. I keep, keep a little bottle here on my table that's got all kind of colors that look like flowers. And what I did is I put um, a little bit of um, gold stickle stand then sit her on top and then added the little um, diamond diamond dot in the middle added a little hearts again the straw with a pom pom so that's her second one the third one I did was the chipboard flower I added the little diamond dots on here some um, sequins I just made a cluster of sequins the little bird sitting on it and it says hello again the straw with the pom-poms and that one and this one a lot of these I got inspiration from um, Kimmy Craft Craft she I can't think of how you say her name her name's Kim but anyway um this one I, I did the the banner the fishtail banner added a ticket butterfly a little flower in the background and my heart and then a little pink heart and then I added this little uh, yellow with the gold spikies coming out so that goes in this pocket the top pocket here close it up the next pocket, remember the, the little um, packet of bows I showed you? This is how I used them. It's a pull handle. And then you pull it out. And I have added her some rosettes. Plus some um, gold thread. <laughs> but here's the rosette. Let me turn this a little bit. Uh, Tim Holt style and then I added some tulle. I folded and stitched my banner, added my small little um, rosette, added the house and she's working in her flowers. A little flower here and a little flower there. So that's the first one. Then let's lay this to the side. Well, we may not lay it to the side. There we go. This one, again, Tim Holtz style. And then I used, I have a, a die for this that uh, makes a wreath. And I just cut it in half and added behind the bunny. And you can see on the tool, it's got a little bit of bling. Um, the chip, uh, chipboard bunny is on the front with the eyes closed. And then I added two of the yellow flowers with uh, stickles in the center so that's that goes in the top box and then we have this one this is one a uh, smaller I think this this is also a Tim Holtz but um I put my rose up on dimension dimensionals and then I stacked it up added the little a, a pile of little diamond dots in the middle, little birds, and little heart. So that goes in this pocket. Yep, that's all that goes in there. And then in this pocket, this drawer, come on, I made her a pokey tool. And I used the the yellows I'm, 
and I want to call this the bum bubblegum beads little heart bead and then I just repeated my pattern chalk out up to the top and it finished it off with a yellow bead added excuse me my voice is dry added a dangle and on their dangle I put her name with some little yellow bead, yellow and black beads a little star at the end a little clear heart that I got from um, Lisa which is my mind just went blank but and then she's happy crafter I believe a little bumblebee another little star a flower and a bow so can't have too many of these I keep one probably every station I work in my craft room I got about like four places I, I work at so that's her crown and then I made her a little dangle to go with the pokey tool and I put her name at the bottom a little bee the yellow and black beads a little clear um, bow repeated the the colors and then it's uh, attached with a lobster collar class she can use some how she chooses she wants to take this apart she can or you know use it you know it's up to her so those go down here and so that closes back up and then the bottom opens and I have this closed with velcro and inside you will find some I made her some little envelopes. Got one that's over here. The back over there where you go. Have them down with glue dots, but apparently it's not working. Okay, one of the envelopes I used a butterfly and flowers and bows and happy day. Little flower tucked inside the envelope. A cupcake, a little teapot like this is a little tea party. I added a little bit of lace and the word sweet. And our wanderer here is, um, I got the little pink house and it says hello. A butterfly and a little bird. And then here is um, a little bunny. Cluster of flowers and the little uh, bunny's little best friend. So out, they're out for you know, admiring the flowers. A little heart and it says together. And that goes. And then I made her some bag toppers. And this is uh, was gifted to me by a friend. And um, I sewed the hearts down the center. This rosette was made by Michelle Randolph. It's one of those that is so pretty <laughs> that I can't make and um, I, I just added some um, crepe paper on, on the bottom and then I did this to cluster of the gray flowers and the little bee and then I just added some um, sequins here and there and this one I did the same thing except I used the, the vine I sew down the middle um, the word love another her rosettes with the crepe paper rosette which she also made me Michelle I don't know what I'd do without you sweetie she's the best I add a little house a little fox and a little frog and then some of the gold trim in the background so this is what goes into the sewing machine this is just the sewing machine again. So I'm going to just sit this to the side and move all this to the side. And I'm going to bring up my final item. This was inspired by Tamika Craft the World. And it's a vintage truck. 
I love this truck. It was a challenge put together, but following Tamika's tutorial, which she made very easy, I got it made, and I'm so stinking proud of it, and I hope Veronica likes it. Um, what I did is I cut it out with 110 pound teal cardstock, come back with the glitter, and I you know, put that all on, just like Tamika told me to. And then um, the front is done in silver, and I stacked that pretty good because I want it to be sturdy. Got the little silver fender, and then the the wheels. Um, now, if you can tell or not, but I've got bling in the center for their hubcaps. And the name of her, of her flower company is Fresh Flowers, Fresh Flower Market Blooms and Stems. That's the name of Veronica's, uh, the truck, but, but she's, um, her market. The back is filled with uh, flowers that she can use. I figure she can sit this on her desk and pull them out there. I just got them tucked into styrofoam. And then um, she can remove the styrofoam also and just have it sitting. But I added a little cluster of flowers here and there on both sides. And then on the back um, read her hubcap. buzzing with the and it's got a bee on it this was so much fun to make I followed Tamika's tutorial which I mean she just did she did an excellent job on it and then I put my little top on it and it, it just turned into a vintage car a truck excuse me but I I've got tail lights, you know, a little bling for tail lights right here. And yeah, I'm just very proud of this. And I hope Veronica likes it too. So that's why I, I got her a few goodies over here. And um, I just want to thank everyone for watching. Have a blessed day. And uh, if you're not sub, please subscribe. I'm so close to 1,000. And I keep, I don't know what goes on with YouTube, but I get to a number and then they take two or three away. So who go figure. But um, if you subscribe to my channel and ask your friends to. I don't do a lot of videos, but I, I'm a slow crafter. And so, um, but I, I do post videos. So I want to thank everyone for watching and I have a blessed day and just thank you so much for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.